In this video, I'll be showing you how to build an awesome starter house for your Minecraft world. While having a cozy and stylish interior, I also included all of the essentials in order to make this build as functional as possible. These are all of the materials that you'll need to build the exterior. And you'll need these additional materials to build the interior. To begin the build, let's start by planning the layout on the ground. The blocks that I'm using here are polished andesite, oak leaves, and stripped spruce logs. And the door represents where the entrance will be to help you position this build in your world. Build up the stripped spruce log pillars according to the numbers shown on the screen. The heights are from the ground, so be sure to include the first block in your counting. Both sides should be mirrored, and it's a great way to check that everything has been built correctly. Next, let's add three stone bricks on top of all of the polished andesite. Head to the right side of the house and place a horizontal beam of logs on top of the wall. Simply fill in the rest of the wall using spruce planks. Punch out a 2x2 two two hole on both sections of this wall so that we can add some windows. Place polished andesite stairs in the bottom of both of the gaps, and above those, add glass panes. Above both of the windows, place a couple of campfires and extinguish them using a shovel. Add spruce trap doors underneath all of the campfires, and in front of the windows, place oak leaves. We're going to mirror the same wall design on the left side of the house, so follow along with me and let's build it up. Let's build another one of those windows that we did on the opposing wall, but this time only on the left side of this wall since we're going to be adding a chimney on the right side. Using bricks and granite, create a two-wide chimney on the center of this wall section. Build it up a total of 11 blocks. On top of the chimney, add a couple of campfires, and then surround them with spruce trap doors. On top of the campfires, add a couple of mud brick walls, and on top of each of those, add a flower pot. Flip up all of the trapdoors, and then head back down to the ground. At the base of the chimney, add three additional rows made out of bricks and granite, and then on top of that, add two stone brick stairs. At the entrance of our base, build up pillars using a combination of oak and strip spruce logs. Add an additional stone brick on top of the walls. In the center of the entrance, place a spruce plank with an upside down stair underneath. Let's create an arch for our entrance using a combination of stone bricks and stone brick stairs. Connect both sides with a polished andesite slab. Place a polished andesite block at the bottom of this hole and then place three stairs in front of it. Add a dark oak door and then place a podzel on either side of the stairs. In front, add oak trap doors and rose bushes on top. Dig out a small area in front of the entrance. Fill in the hole using a combination of coarse dirt and rooted dirt. Add a few pieces of grass to tie this area together. Behind the oak leaves, add a wall made out of spruce planks the same height as the stone bricks. Also add a spruce plank above the strip spruce log behind the stone brick wall. Add a row of stone bricks connecting both sides. Create an arch using upside down stairs and a polished andesite slab. Break out two blocks in the middle of the wall and place a spruce stair in the bottom with a glass pane above. We're going to mirror the exact same design on the left side of the wall, so follow along with me and let's build it up.
Head to the back of the house and place spruce planks behind these leaves. On top, place spruce stairs. Get on top of the walls and add an additional stone brick on top of all of the stone brick pillars. Connect up all of the pillars again using stone bricks. We're going to build the exact same window designs that we did at the front of the house, so follow along with me and let's build it up. For this middle section, add upside down stone brick stairs in all of the corners. On the inside of the wall, add three pillars made out of spruce planks. Connect the top of the pillars and then place upside down stairs underneath. Fill the remaining gaps with glass panes. Heading back to the front of the house, let's place upside down spruce stairs in the following locations. Connect the two stairs on the right with spruce slabs. Add a slab on either side of the stairs in the middle and then connect them with spruce trap doors. Add a slab next to the remaining two stairs with a trap door in the middle. Place a spruce fence underneath both of the stairs on the left and right side of the house. Underneath those, add a lantern. Following the numbers that are on the screen, let's build up some pillars made out of both oak and stripped spruce logs. Add spruce planks beside both of these pillars and then connect the top with an upside down spruce stair. Add another row of planks with an additional block on top in the middle. Add an oak door in the remaining gap. On the left side of the wall, add a spruce stair above the trap door, and then add four spruce planks on either side of the stair. Connect the top, and then add an additional block on top. Fill the remaining gap with glass panes. Add a row of barrels in the middle of the wall. Place oak trap doors coming off of the top of the barrels, and on top of those, add some flower pots and inside add any flower that you want, I chose blue orchids. Add two spruce planks on either side, and next to those add some glass panes. Add two more planks on top with one more additional block next to the highest pillar, and mirror that same design on the other side. Place a spruce fence with a lantern hanging off of it. Where this oak door is, we're going to build a balcony, so let's start by adding two rows of spruce trap doors. Add a spruce plank coming off of both of the corners, and then connect those with spruce slabs. Add a railing made out of oak fences. Place three spruce fences underneath both of the planks. Underneath those, add an andesite wall to connect the balcony to the ground. Head to the back of the house so that we can build up the same wall design. The only difference with this side is that there's going to be two windows instead of a balcony, so follow along with me and let's build it up.
Let's begin building the roof by placing two dark oak trap doors in the following locations. All of these are going to be next to the top of the second block on these pillars. Add a dark oak plank in both of these corners. Simply staircase up using dark oak stairs until you reach the center of the wall. Once you do, place an upside down stair with a slab on top. Mirror the same design on the other side until you reach up with the middle. Let's repeat the same design, so again, just staircasing up with stairs until we reach the middle. And once you do, place an upside down stair with a slab on top. Mirror the same thing until you reach up with the middle again. Let's build the same design for the right section of the wall as well. We're going to mirror the exact same roofline design at the front of the house, so follow along with me and let's build it up. Connect up all of the roof peaks using dark oak slabs. On the left side of the house, let's connect up both sides using dark oak trap doors. Above all of the trap doors, add dark oak stairs. Simply fill in the rest of the roof using spruce stairs. Let's continue to fill in the roof using spruce stairs, again just following the shape of the roof line. For the right side of the roof, just repeat the exact same design that we built on the other side using a row of dark oak trap doors and a row of dark oak stairs. From there, simply just fill in the rest of the roof again using spruce stairs. The exterior is done, so let's head inside so that we can start on the interior. Beginning with the floor, let's add a section made out of mangrove planks. And we're just building this in line with the section of the wall that's sticking further into the house. From there, add four rows of stripped dark oak logs. Fill in the remaining gap on this side with cobbled deep slate. For this remaining section, we're going to build a checkered design out of stripped dark oak logs, so just alternate the direction every other block and fill it in until you have this really nice looking pattern. Let's begin building the walls by adding a row of oak planks above both of the edges of the mangrove planks. Add another row above the edge of the cobbled deep slate. Let's add three rows of stripped oak logs above the planks. For this smaller wall, only add two rows. 
above this wall, add a horizontal beam made out of stripped spruce logs. Add another beam on the left and right side of this section. Simply fill in the remaining gaps using spruce planks. Repeat the same design on the other side, using three horizontal beams, and then filling in the gaps using spruce slabs. For this larger section in the center, simply just fill in the entire thing using spruce slabs. Add a horizontal beam of strip spruce logs connecting both sides of the house. Fill in the remainder of the ceiling using dark oak stairs. Skip one block and place a lantern then go three more blocks, place a lantern, three more blocks, and place a lantern. For the left side of the house, add a horizontal beam of logs again, going all the way across. Fill in the rest of the ceiling using dark oak stairs. Skip two blocks and then place a lantern. Skip three blocks, place a lantern. Three more blocks, place a lantern. Let's mirror the exact same design on the right side of the house. Let's build a wall using three rows of stripped oak logs. Leave a one wide gap so that we can add a door. Remove this log and replace it with a spruce plank. Place an upside down oak stair at the top of this gap, which leaves us with just enough space to add our oak door. Let's repeat the exact same wall and door design on the left side of the house as well. It's time to start adding some details, so let's begin by adding some bookshelves on either side of these walls. And we're building these four long and two high. Connect both sides using chiseled bookshelves and place a grindstone on top. In the center, add an enchanting table, and let's also add an anvil and some chests. Let's cover up this ugliness and add a pop of color using red carpet. Remove four slabs and then surround this hole using oak trap doors. This is going to be the location of our future staircase. To finish off this room, let's add a painting on the wall. Heading to the next room, this is going to be our smelting area, so let's begin by adding a row of blast furnaces. Above, let's build a shelf using spruce trap doors, and on top, let's add a stone cutter, a flower pot with a blue orchid in it, and a chest. Add more storage on this wall as well, and these top chests can open because there's stairs above. Beside the chests, add a pillar made out of stripped spruce logs, and then fill in this remaining gap with furnaces. In the corner of the room, place a crafting table with a flower pot on top. In this one, I put an oxide daisy, and let's also add a chest beside the crafting table, 
and on both sections of this wall, we can add a painting. The final room on this floor is going to be for our bedroom, which also has access to the balcony that we built. Let's begin by adding a row of bookshelves, and on top, add a double chest, as well as a flower pot with an oxide daisy in it. Add two red beds, and beside those, place slabs, and in front, spruce trap doors. Add a painting on the wall, and let's build a closet, beginning with two double chests. Above, add slabs, and on either side, add a couple of trap doors. For the actual closet doors themselves, let's use spruce doors, and you'll have to kind of stand backwards in order to place these in the right location. Let's finish off this room by placing a crafting table in the corner with a flower on top, and then build a table using scaffolding and crimson stairs, and on top of the table, place a dark oak pressure plate. With that, the second floor is now done, so let's go work on the main floor. Currently, we have no way to access the second floor, so let's begin by building a staircase made out of bookshelves. On top, add jungle stairs to connect ourselves up to the second floor. Next to our entrance, let's build a table using a couple of stairs and a slab, and on top, add a lantern, as well as a flower pot with an oxide daisy in it, and above, place a painting. Let's build a small rug using light gray carpet. In front of both of these windows, add a double chest. In the center, add a smithing table with an armor stand on top. Here you can display any armor that you want. Break out a 2x3 hole in this wall, and then replace these mangrove planks with stripped mangrove logs. In the corners, place upside down oak stairs. We need to access the other side of this floor as well, so again, let's punch out a section for a door, replace these two blocks with stripped mangrove logs, and then place upside down oak stairs in the corners. Let's begin detailing this room, starting with a crafting table, a cauldron with some water in it, a furnace, and a smoker. Above, add a row of barrels. On top, add a lantern and a dark oak pressure plate. Add a small rug made out of red carpet, and place a lantern on the ceiling. Remove the following blocks so that we can have space for our fireplace. And we also need to remove four blocks from the floor. Replace those floor blocks with bricks, and add two more bricks at the top. Place two brick stairs on top of each other on either side of the fireplace. Connect both sides using brick slabs, and on top of both of those, add a brick stair. Coming off of those stairs, add another slab. Inside of the fireplace, add a couple of campfires, and close it off using some iron bars. Let's build a small table using crimson stairs and scaffolding, and on top, place a dark oak pressure plate as well as a flower pot with an oxide daisy in it. Above the table, add a painting. Heading over to the next room, let's again build a small table using crimson stairs and scaffolding, and on top, I'm adding a flower pot with an oxide daisy in it. Light up the room with a lantern, and then place a cartography table with a brewing stand on top. Punch out three blocks and place an upside down stair at the top and an oak door at the bottom. This final room is going to be our storage area, so let's begin by adding three rows of double chests and a single chest beside those. Add three barrels and in the corner of this room, add a crafting table with a lantern on top. And with that, this build is finished. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you found it helpful. As always, a super special thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and happy building!